What is up flockers? That is my fellow lockers and aspiring lockers. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to flat twist your hair so that it looks like cornrows. And for those of us who are not great at cornrowing, this is a perfect go-to that you can get the same looking result without the struggle. So if you wanna see that, then stick around. Like I said, today I'm here to help those that may want the same look as cornrows but can't cornrow themselves, or when they cornrow it comes out looking a hot mess. I can relate, I understand. So I have a simpler, easier way that you can do that and it's simply with flat twisting and I'm going to show you how to do that today. I've got a couple of things with me. Gotta have my water bottle. So I'll link the things that I have down below but I got my continuous spray bottle. I do have a mirror right here that I can use so I can see what I'm looking at. So, ooh, showing you all my little stuff in my mirror. And then I also have just some clips that I'll be using to section my hair off. So sometimes I like to use the alligator clips. Sometimes I like to use just hair ties. So we'll see what happens today. All right. So we'll start with this side of the head. And like I said, I know that there are some flockers that would like to be able to cornrow their hair but just are not gifted in cornrowing that is okay we will not be judgmental towards those who cannot cornrow I'm not a great cornrower corn rower either all right so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna section off my first little section and if you're here for perfect straight parts then you're in the wrong place because I don't have perfect parts all right you have to decide how you want your parting to go if you're planning on wearing the style for a long time as opposed to just doing it for like a twist out then maybe you want it to you know be somewhat neat i will probably just rock it for a day or two and i'm not concerned with it being neat like i said my parts aren't straight and i'm not concerned with like all of this being perfectly straight either okay so this is what we have so far i'm a couple weeks out from needing a retwist so probably not gonna see much scalp in here all right but I probably have about two rows worth worth of locks you could do one row if you wanted to uh, the smaller the sections the longer it's gonna take you but the smaller the sections the more defined it's gonna be um, also when you take it out you know it'll give you a more defined twist out or whatever so it just depends on what you're looking for all right, but I do want to make sure that I have the locks that I don't want ending up in this section sectioned off, just because it makes it easier. All right, do you have to do this? No. Will it make it easier? Yes. So this is what we have. Okay. I'm kind of feeling through my parting as we're going along again. I'm not about perfection on my channel, so you're in the wrong place if you're looking for pristine, perfect perfection. All right, but what I'm doing here is I like to go up, so towards the north or towards the top of my head when I do it. You can do it down too. I just prefer to go up because I like the way that that looks better. So flat twisting, thankfully, is very simple and it's not difficult to do. All right, so I'm just going to get my hair a little bit damp not a ton of water but just so that I'm not working with completely dry hair All right. so I got a little dampness to my hair that way as it's drying it'll help to set the style so that way when I do take it out it holds a little bit better okay and then when I go through I'll start with two and like I said I'm going up so I'm taking these and I'm twisting up and then I grab a second one with the bottom twist up and I've got two up top one on the bottom so now I grab a second one twist up all right and I'm not twisting so tight that it hurts and that it's pulling my scalp or anything like that so you just have to know your pain tolerance and not pull it super tight that you're gonna have a headache later all right but as you do that you just go back and you keep adding to what you already have as you're going back 
and some like to do it one at a time. I don't. I just kind of grab and wrap as I go. Just like that. Okay. Making sure that it's it's tight enough so that it's snug to my scalp, but not so tight, like I said, that it hurts and that I feel like it's pulling on my scalp in an uncomfortable way. All right, and then when I get to the bottom, I'm going to find a lock here at the bottom, and then from this side that I can tie together to create a knot, or not a knot, but just to tie it. I'm not making a knot, I'm just tying it one time, just like that, not super tight, but tight enough to hold it. Boom, we got our first one done, okay? So like I said, it's snug enough so that it's gonna stay in place, but it's not so tight that it hurts anything. Okay, and now we have our first section done. All right, so let's move on to the second one. I'm gonna try to keep them relatively around the same size. Again, I'm not about perfection, so I'm not gonna sit here and part my hair 15 times to make sure that I get it perfect. I'm just kind of going through and feeling it with my fingers to feel kind of what feels right in terms of sectioning. If it's not perfect, it's not a big deal to me because like I said, I'm not planning on wearing this out as a style to a party or an event or anything like that so i'll just be rocking this around the house while it dries and then probably take it out tomorrow okay i'm gonna go ahead and spray this section all right and then i'm gonna repeat the same thing so starting in the beginning i do always try to start off with it smaller so instead of taking big sections i do start off with just two in the beginning to start again going up and then as I go back, I start to pick up more just because once that beginning section is started, I'm not so worried about it being small and only picking up one at a time. sections down many more to go have it that took me all of 15 minutes I believe to do my entire head and this side I would say looks a little bit better than this side uh, I don't know I guess it's easier for me to twist on this side but you see and if I had a fresh retwist or a fresh fresh retie you'd be able to see the parts even better but as you can see whoop, didn't tie this one off right but as you can see it doesn't take long um, it's not super difficult. I know some people still might have issues with flat twisting and it's not the easiest for everyone, but if you are able to flat twist, then you can achieve a cornrow look. You can do straight backs. You can, you know, part your hair over here and go this way and this way if you decide you don't want a straight back look. And so you do have options with it. It's simple, gives you a nice look. And like I said, you leave it in until it dries or for a day or two. And then when you take it out, you'll have a little bit of a, a loose wave. It's not gonna be the same crinkle as a braid out, but you'll still have a wave and some definition and volume to your hair. And y'all already know I'm not gonna just leave you hanging with just the style by itself. But you know, I love me some lock jewelry. 
And these are my favorite little clasp, just to add a little oomph to it. <laughs> so we'll just randomly throw in some, some oomph pieces just to give it a little something. Just to make it pop, you know. Some people like the super plain, some people appreciate a little bit of pop, whether it's a pop of color or a pop of something. So we'll put in a little pop. I'm trying to keep it as symmetrical as possible when I do these so that it looks the same on both sides. All right, you see, nothing too crazy, but like I said, just to add a little pop and contrast with the color of my hair when having the clasp in, just gives you a little something extra to look at. All right. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know what type of content you are enjoying. And also while you're here, hit that subscribe button so that you can join the flock. And before you go anywhere, check out some of the other videos that I have that have popped up on the screen. I'll also make sure to include my playlist with my other styles that I've done so that you can check those out there. See you there.